Next up, we have the first bet on the night. But it's my bet, but I will go last because I because I said so. But it's it's Jimmy Flick. That's actually a name. Minus 165 versus Cody Tyler Durden plus 145. Real Mike. Flick out some. I got nothing on that one. I was going to try to make a funny pun. It just it didn't work. Flick, it flicks just too obvious. Well, uh, Tyler Durden from Fight Club, he is, uh, you know, amazing D1 wrestler. I know it's not, it's not Tyler Durden, but, you know, obviously we're going to roll with it. Yeah, we're going to roll with it because it sounds better and he's hard from the movie. So uh, <laughs> Cody Durden, he's a D1 wrestler, uh, you know, really, really good wrestling, which I love. Um, I think that his striking now that he's gone over to AT&T and he's over there with Pantoja and uh, Tony Gravely, who I don't uh, really am not fond of, and a few other people. Uh, I, I think that he's just got a lot of experience over there to roll with and to train with. And he's just 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 making his game even sharper as he goes on. Um, I, I don't think that I think Flick's jujitsu game is freaking sick. His jujitsu, I think, is a little bit superior than Durden, but his striking is is garbage. I mean, he leaves himself open for strikes. He the way he shoots in, he does not want to be hit in the face. Um he kind of reminds me of uh the way Damian Maya shoots in uh and, and get takes damage. He he just, you know, not confident in the striking and, and end up getting a, uh, you know, punched. So, I think that the D1 wrestling of Durden is going to be enough to um counterbalance and just I guess make make it equal to the wrestling or the jujitsu of uh, Flick. So I think that Durden's going to roll here. I think he has the chance to win. I think he's stuff the takedowns and uh, making Flick super tired and then damage him with strikes. Uh, yeah, moving straight along. Stay on Jimmy Flick for a second. 13 and 5, 13 subs, 8,500 on DraftKings. Uh, the three-fight win streak, uh, getting to the UFC after his win on Dana White's Contender Series. Um, like we were talking about, if the record didn't it didn't – uh, make it clear enough, he is the BJJ fighter. Uh, watch any of his wins. He's the type of guy, the second that it hits the mat, he's he's reaching for something, he's going for it. I really do, I really want to avoid making the whack-a-mole joke again. I think I've, I, I'm never touching that one again. Anyway, going up against Tyler, I mean, if his name isn't if his name isn't Tyler, it should be Durden. Uh, Corey Durden, 11-3-1, five knockouts, five subs, 7,500, sorry, 7,700 on DraftKings. Uh, went to a draw in his UFC debut back in August. Like you guys are saying, more of a wrestler. Likes to get you down, beat you up from the top. Really busy once he gets there, advances his position, throws a lot of strikes. Uh, it, it is going to be interesting if he decides to take it to the ground, what he can do against a guy like Flick. Um, but we we're, were just talking about it right before we uh, went on the air. Like, my work schedule is so crazy right now. I'm trying to fit in a lot of, like, last-minute tape watch. This fight is actually the last one that I, I broke down before the show, and I was watching Flick striking. Man. It's like Mike was saying, it is terrible. Like it, it, it's it's regional level. It's a guy who shows up, he he you know, he throws a couple of weak leg kicks and then backs his head out so he doesn't get cracked in the counter. Uh Jordan for sure looks more polished. Uh, you know, you watch him throw strikes, throws really hard leg kicks, he ducks it, he uses his jab to get in, he throws a good straight right after that. And you know, just he I don't know if he'll do it in this fight just because of his opponent, but he has a really nice blast double. He's a D one all American, I believe, if I read correctly. I don't have it written down here. But um, yeah, D1 All American, two time. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, so definitely, I like I like Durden in this fight. I wasn't impressed with Flick from what I saw. Yeah, good jujitsu, but a good wrestler who's a lot physically stronger than him. It's gonna beat him up all night. You mentioned uh, Jimmy's kicks. Would you say he flicks them out there? I'm sorry, I take it back. Oh. I'm too good for that. I take it back. I'm too good for that. <laughs> I just, I, I'm, I'm too good for that one. I'm not gonna. I I, I want to rewind 15 seconds. No, no, hold on. Once an episode. You, once an episode. You just shine up. You puff your chest like guys. <laughs> I got this one. You just you, you go iso ball. I love it. <laughs> I had to sometimes, but the, you know what? That one was uh, wasn't good enough. Sorry. I, I, I want better for you guys. I want better for us as a team. We'll we'll do better. I promise. Well, okay. Uh, Cody Durden, or I'm just gonna start calling him CT from now on. Um, he absolutely does have the wrestling advantage to the point that he can keep it on the feet if he needs to, and he has more power there. And in terms of wrestling, since he has such the wrestling advantage, he has very good top control to the point that he's not gonna give Flick the space that he needs to attach a sub i mean if he's super smart he won't even let it touch the ground and if he does it's literally just like 
holds until he gets stood up again, and then he'll he'll throw at him. Just, just isolate him as best he can. I was utterly I didn't know the odds of this one going into this fight. I'm saying, okay, well, I assume these odds were flipped, and I had mistyped something. And going back, I have no idea why Durden is currently uh, plus one forty five, and that has me just betting it um, for everything that we said here. I just think he's the superior fighter all around and I think he's going to get the win here. So uh, first bet on the night is Cody Durden or CT as I'm going to call him from here on out. Only people within the show will know that plus 145 for one unit to win you 1.45. Let's go. Yes. I stole straight stole that from Mikey Gills. That's right. It's happening <laughs> on the show.